Hello, everybody. It's so wonderful to meet you on yet another recording. And in this recording, I'm going to talk to you about how music can help people overcome stuttering. And there is a reason why I'm talking about this topic, because something that people don't often know about me, my fans or followers or even family members, a lot of them don't know that I was a chronic stutterer all through my childhood and in my early adolescence. I only came out of stuttering when I was around 15 or 16 years of age. And music helped me come out of the stuttering. So singing helped me. The breathing techniques associated with music and singing helped me. So I want to share these insights with all of you because there is a lot of um, suffering associated and stigma, social stigma uh, associated with stuttering. And it can be a very debilitating issue. I have suffered with it. And this recording comes from a perspective of lived experience. So it is not something that's theoretical or it's not something that I've studied in a textbook, my friends. It's something that I have lived through. And today I'm able to speak to you without interruption. I'm able to give voice to each and every one of my thoughts across several languages. And that is because of music, of singing. So how does singing actually help? I'm here to give a few concrete recommendations. The first recommendation is focus on the breathing. So if you or a loved one is suffering from a stutter, when those moments come when you feel like you're going to stutter or stumble, pause for a minute and focus on the breath. Take a breath in and during the exhalation, gently intone that particular syllable. For instance, if K is your issue and you're trying to say, can I please have that cup? Think of it as a musical phrase. Can I please have that cup? So take a breath in, take a break and say, can I please have that cup? Gently. It's like, da, na, a gentle phrasing. So music gives us these dynamics with our voice. So tip number two is definitely start training in singing. For those of you who are chronic stutterers, there is something that you should know. While singing, people do not stutter. It is only while speaking that stuttering shows up. And that's because there are so many conflicting ideas in one's um, brain that compete for attention and compete to be heard. So because of that, there's a bit of a confusion. And then these muscles in the throat get tightened as well because of that. However, while singing, a lot of what we do sing is pre-composed. We know the song, we know the kriti, we know the raga. So... As we sing, we do not stutter. So definitely the point number two that I'm trying to make is start learning music if you already are not and why part singing. If you're unable to join one is to one classes, please join in a group. If even joining a class is difficult for you because of economical issues or other issues, join a choir at school. Anything, any form of vocal practice that involves music, singing, is absolutely helpful. The third point is associate emotion and performance when you speak. So usually um, when we are a stutterer, and I have experienced this, so I can say it from a position of, like I said, lived experience, we feel disempowered in some ways that, you know, I'm not being heard the sound is not coming out or I have it all here, up here. I want to say so many things, but I'm unable to. That's a common feeling of complete disempowerment. But if you associate emotion with your feelings, nobody can take away your emotions from you. And that comes through in speech, those inflections that force 
the way in which a phrase lands, all of that is also associated with music and singing particularly. So while singing, some phrases are sung loudly, some syllables are accented, some gamakas are given more thrust than others. And all of this happens and you will be taught all of this in music, in singing. So employ those techniques when it comes to speech. When you feel like you're going to be tripped up, get in touch with your emotion, go deep inside and bring that out. Bring that performance out. Also, the fourth point then is use gesture. Definitely try and use your hands more or speak with the body. First, let the body start moving. Allow yourself that space to breathe, to move. And that is also a very singer you know, thing to do. Because when we sing a phrase, that first comes out as a g- gesture. Now I'm singing Shanmukapriya. All of that emotion is there in the body, in the eyes, in the facial expressions. Let it all come out. Do not hold back, my friends, because this is something that we need to tackle from a whole body approach relaxing all the muscles, relaxing our senses and connecting with the emotion and coming out and communicating. That is why I keep saying learning singing is one of the best things you can do. The fifth point is try and pre-compose what you're trying to say as you would in a musical setting. So supposing a lot of us have learned Sri Gananatha. So I'm taking that as an example. Sri Ganana. After that, what comes? Sindura Varna. We know that. So we don't worry too much. Very confident. Oh, after that, Sindura Varna will come. So it's sort of, you know, really a simple sort of approach uh, to be very certain about what comes next. So using that approach, try to pre compose the sentences in some way. Or at least the phrasing of the sentences or the tonal inflection of the sentence, the pitching of the sentence. So, for instance, if you're telling your friend, um, so I'll meet you tomorrow at the park, right? And you have a stutter and you're worried that tomorrow you'll stutter or park, you might stutter in the P or the T, which is very common for stutterers. I used to stutter in both of these syllables. I remember that. So what you can say is, um, so I'll meet you um, tomorrow at the park. So give yourself those sort of tonal variations. Right? So for instance, when we're singing, No two syllables were intoned with the same sort of intonation, were they? Everything was weighted differently. So try that. Try being performative. Try weighting each syllable and each beginning of phrasing differently. Why not? And please try to always own the silences that come with it. So one of the things with stutterers is suddenly you'll completely stop speaking because that's it. It's stuck here. I've been there. So I'm telling you, in those moments, don't fight it. Just stop. If you don't find the... Supposing you're trying to say mother. Tomorrow my mother is going to come and pick me up. You're trying to say that sentence. And mother is somewhat stuck. So, in the beginning when you sense it's stuck, stop right there and say, tomorrow my amma will come to pick me up. Or try and replace it with the suitable synonym okay or replace it so think think agile and think freely be sharp and be ready for contingencies so it's like singing you know a kalpana swaram or something where samatthukki yedatthukki varlaya vera uru innur uru avartanam paadi tu yedatthukki varlaame if you want to say something and you're stuttering 
add something more to it the person in front of you will never know that that is what you came to say they're still waiting they're still understanding what you're trying to say so when you plan pani ad varlena supposing you've planned something and that's not coming through do not despair change it be agile be improvisatory and that's the sixth point improvisation is the vital part of music making that will come in absolutely handy for you if you have a startup so all of this leads us to one point we need to sing because singing gives us a way to stay in touch with the sounding of the voice the vocal muscles how to relax them how to use them smartly how to be aware of when it's getting stuck when you know these problems arise and nip them in the bud because with practice you will get very good at this do you think i don't stutter nowadays of course i do sometimes when it's emotionally overwhelming or when too many things are competing or there's something really really high stakes going on often we are overwhelmed and the first response as a stutterer is to have that sense of overwhelm but then i turn again to music and i say okay i can do this let me take my time so the last and final point that i'm going to tell you is take your time own your silence time is power power is on your side so when you have time when you are in front of somebody something is getting stuck take a pause for instance when we are singing a raga alapana tadarana padapama when is the next phrase going to come is what the audience are thinking but you can allow the tambura to run you can take your time nobody is going to say yes yes the clock is ticking come on let me hear the next phrase no as long as it's not many seconds and people are not getting bored you have all the luxury to take your time so instead of something like ta da ra ta ra na you can do ta da ra na ta da ra na na ta ra na take your time think of this as speech how's it going is everything going okay so how was your day you're asking your friend that so pace yourself as you would in an improvisatory section of an alapana so these are tips and tricks coming from a very authentic perspective everyone i've been there done that i have stood in front of people unable to string together a sentence with tears in my eyes as a teenager completely capable of saying what i wanted to say but unable to do so and some years later i have stood in front of an auditorium full of people comparing seamlessly and some years later i've been in front of the television doing episode after episode of isai payanam faultlessly unfaltering in tamil my mother tongue and today i am before you speaking with you sharing this wisdom it's taken me a lot of courage to actually do this episode because it's something that is very personal but i think it's time for me to share this wisdom because there are a lot of people out there struggling with stuttering it is stigmatized these children and young adults um, and adolescents are bullied at school they are bullied in their workplace and they don't feel safe to express themselves because they are unable to so this is also my request to every one of you to support those emotionally who are going through stuttering so support them through this process of emerging from it of managing it a stutter is always managed in, instead of looking at it as a cure we manage it we rise above it we rise above our challenges and we win and that is the way we grow 
so all my love and best wishes to all of you out there who are stuttering you're not alone right and singing is the biggest companion believe me namaskaram